This is my new custom built do it yourself kayak cart. It fits my Wilderness Systems Ride 115 perfectly. I couldn't find anything online that was cheap enough that fit this kayak, so I thought I'd build my own. Took ideas from a couple different builds that I found online and took the best of all of them and made something a little different. First thing I did that's different is the axle. You can see I didn't use a threaded rod. I used copper pipe, 5 8 that fits my wheels. I used a couple of washers and just a few clips to hold the wheels on so that I can take it apart and put it in my kayak. It's really easy, no tools required. Up at the top where the uh, arms are that hold the kayak itself, I've got a couple of pins holding in the arms so that they can't rotate or fall off. That way I can take them apart later and put it in my kayak. This whole thing comes apart in about 30 seconds or so and you can stick it in the front hatch of your kayak. So let's check it out. Um, rather than using a threaded rod, I went for something a little lighter weight. I couldn't get any aluminum pipe that would, uh, or tubing that would uh, fit into my wheels. I had 5 eighths bearings in my wheels. So I went with uh, this copper pipe here. And it should uh, hold the weight just fine. It's very, very lightweight. It's easy to work with. I'm just putting a hole in each end of this. I'm going to put one right there where that mark is. And those, I just have two pins I'm going to put in there to hold the wheels on. No threading, no bolts. This thing can be taken apart in seconds. All right, so here we go. I've got my, you've seen these all over the internet, right? Everybody makes them pretty much the same way. This looks like it needs to be a little shorter. But uh, anyway, we'll do some final cuts. So here we go. Put the rod in through here. Let's do the other end. It's a little machined. Smooth, all right. Get that in there. Put on a washer. Put on our wheel, another washer, and our fancy pin here. All right, let's give it a little test here. Check it out. We're rolling. We are rolling. Cool, man. That's it. All right, check it out. I temporarily made one of the arms longer for a kickstand. Watch, hold up. Okay, I made one of the arms a little longer for now for a kickstand. It's gonna be, I have something else in mind, but for now it'll work. Lift it. Turn it. And there it is. Not even glued together. Perfect. Painted the caps white. Painted everything white. There's the two arms that hold the kayak right there. I didn't bother painting the arms. They're going to be covered by the foam. But I did paint the T's. T connectors. And this is the kickstand right here. And here's the main assembly. This whole part that you're seeing right here is glued together. It doesn't need to come apart. It fits in my kayak, no problem. I can take the wheels off and uh, the upper arms. And this fits right in the front hatch of my kayak. No problem. Here's the rest of the parts. So um, I got these wheels on Amazon for 25 bucks. I felt like I could have got them for less, but uh, I like them because they're fat. They're not real soft, but um, they'll last and they'll work. I've already tried them. They work great. Here's the four foam pads that are going on the arms where the kayak rests on. I used pipe insulation, plumber's pipe insulation for that. Let's see how that works. This is the rod I used for the axle. As you can see, it is hollow. And I use these little clips to hold the wheels on. Okay. And we got some, bear, uh, some washers here to go along with it. Press up against the wheels. And we've got a couple... Wire clips, those things hold the arms on the kayak so they don't rotate around. And, and also so I can take them off. These are the two uh, runners that the kayak actually sits on. They look pretty good from a distance. I put some caps on the end here just for, to hold it on. 
I have these holes, these pins go in here, keeps these from, from spinning around while I'm using it. Let's put this thing together, I'll show you how it works. All right, um, let's put these side pieces on first, these rails. So this just pops on like that, easily enough. <clears throat> Take this thing and stick it through the holes. Uh -huh. Clip it on like that. There's one side. <clears throat> the other side. See that? <clears throat> now these things, well, they can move a little bit. That's okay. I think. <laughs> All right, let's put the axle on. Take my axle. Let's do one wheel first. I'm going to put it on this way. See, if I put it on with this on the outside, then I can't get this in to the axle to lock it down. So I'm putting the indented part on the inside. And hold on. Let's go ahead and put this. This. Another one of these. I need some smaller washers because these actually rub on the wheel a little bit. But it's okay. It still works fine. Get this uh, popped in there. Like that. There's one wheel. Take this, hopefully the paint, <laughs> I'm going to have to bust, bust some paint out of the way maybe to get it, get it in there. Uh, paint isn't all the way dry yet, but it's good enough for what I'm doing. Okay. Take our washer, wheel, these wheels have good bearings in them. Washer on like so. I got it so the smooth side is touching the bearing. And finally, get this in here like so. That's it. Oh, got this little kickstand thing here. Put this right there. <clears throat> Probably should sand that off, sand some of that paint off. Pretty simple. I'm not really crazy about how loose these are. I sand out of the paint off of these posts so they would come on and off easy, but hmm. I made the holes pretty big. I could uh well we'll see. Try putting it back up. Gotta grab by the keel so you get to the middle. Get it close to the middle. So I don't have to lift it very hard. Look at that. Lift it with one pinky, man. Look at that. A lot easier than dragging it. Let's see if I can mess this thing up, huh? Let's go straight down this hill. <laughs> Not a problem, dude. We're wheeling it. All right, let's go up here. This is uphill, grass, bumpy. No problem, dude. Oh, there it goes. What happened? Okay. I see. This is something I was actually concerned about. It's something I can fix, no problem. These arms don't want to don't want to stay in. So I'll just glue them in. They don't need to come out. They'll fit in my boat. <clears throat> They'll fit in my boat without I don't want to take them apart ever, so yeah. Okay, so we do have a problem with this cart. These arms come apart. But I'm just going to glue them together. Glue it onto this T. See, it comes apart here. This whole thing comes apart. There's no reason not to glue that. I think I just didn't glue it because I thought I might paint it or do some stuff. I'm not really sure. But I'll glue it tonight. And tomorrow it will be perfect. So there it is. You can see I have it mounted pretty close to the center of the boat. 
Makes it very light to pick up, like pinky style. Look at that. Huh? I'd say we're good. This thing holds together just fine. All right, there it is. Not finished. Actually, the kickstand needs to be a little shorter. It keeps bouncing off. I might have to lock it in there. Or it's kind of loose. But other than that, look at that. That's right. These uh, things being wobbly like this is not a problem. Actually, it helps when you put the kayak on, kayak on they center themselves, kind of. And once you start dragging it, once the kayak's touching both of them, they don't move. They stay perfectly still. So it's not a problem at all. So there you have it. This whole thing weighs about 10 pounds, by the way. It's pretty light. You can pick it up and carry it. You can stick it in your kayak. You won't even know it's there. And it's very strong. I can't believe how strong this thing is for being PVC. Gluing it together really helps keep it sturdy. Sorry I didn't really show you how to build the whole thing. I don't have a cutting list or a parts list. You can find um, out how to build these in a lot of places on the internet. Just do a search. Alright, thanks for watching. Hope you liked the video. This is going to work. It's going to save my back. Dragging a kayak around is not fun. And my kayak's almost 80 pounds empty. So with all the gear in it, I'm going to say it's about 140 pounds. Not something you want to drag up and down dirt and grass hills. So throw a few wheels on it. Save your strength for fishing. So, cool. Hope you guys are all staying safe out there. And uh, remember, go fishing!